special cover operation of assassination of Litvinenko. According to Paolo Bozanti, Scaramella called him in Rome after lunch at the Itzel Sushi Bar and told him that Litvinenko had not taken the emails seriously. When Scaramella called me around 4 p.m., he said, I feel really relieved. He read those emails and said they were pure shit, just something sent to scare you, Bozanti said. Twenty-two days after uttering those words, Litvinenko perished the victim of the first nuclear terrorism in a Western capital. Chapter 11. Poison and PR. The pain began in Litvinenko's stomach. A racking, wrenching convulsion that turned into uncontrollable vomiting, as if his entire being were seeking to expel an alien intruder. He drank water, but his body threw it back before it could be absorbed. Every breath became an effort, a gun. His heart seemed to have no strength to fight. Then it was his bowels, reduced to liquid. When he inspected the outflow from his cramping innards, he thought he saw blood. In the early days of his sickness, after an 